Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my bookish box. Um, this is a couple months late. Um, they're behind on shipping their boxes. So, yeah. Not sure if this is the adult or the YA one or which month this is. But here's what it looks like when we open the box. So yeah, this seems to be for the month of September. They're very really late and behind on these boxes. I hope they catch up eventually, but I don't feel like they will ever catch up. But I'm still going to keep my subscription box just because I do like um, the items they include and their books that they do. So, But I do wish they will eventually catch up, so hopefully they do. Don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take out this. Let's see what this is. So this seems to be... An item inspired from Blood and Ash, and it is a um, life stand. And the artwork is done by this person right here. Sorry, can't pronounce it. But let's go ahead and open this up and see this light stand. So we have this stand right here. Take it out of there. Um, and it says, you're an absolutely stunning, murderous little creature, which I've seen um, a lot of from this book. I haven't read the series yet. I do own the first book, but yeah, so it's a little stand, and then you put this here. Um, you will have to take off like this little brown paper right here, so it can be clear, um, and then you just light it up. It does seem to be a USB, so I will insert a clip up here, of it being light up and stuff. I wish it was battery operated so I could have it on my bookshelf somewhere and just light up, but it's not battery um, operated. But that's okay. This is a really nice item. I like the design quite a bit. The design is very nice. Um, so I do like that. Um, I'm very happy with this item. So pretty good start so far. Okay, so then we have our bookmark referee. If you guys don't know, they include this every single month. The YA box, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's take out this bookmark. Um, they're designed by Cass Berry. So, yeah. And then, here is the bookmark. And this is so pretty. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, sorry for the lighting um, in here. The sun is going down, but this is inspired by House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass. So this is really, really pretty. I love receiving these bookmarks. They're one of my favorite items to get inside this book box, but they're so pretty. So I'm really, really in love with these. Okay, so I'm really sorry about the lighting, but the sun is going down, and uh, I hope I hope you can still see everything all right. But. Let's take out the next item, which is our monthly candle as well. They always have a candle in each month. And this one is for Libra. And it's from... Elim El it's inspired from Kingdom of the Wicked. I'm very bad at pronouncing things, if you guys can tell, but... I hope that's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get this candle out. Um, this is a really nice candle. I always like the design they do on these. They're very pretty. So let's go ahead and smell it. This smells really good. I, yeah, I really like the smell of this. I'm not really good at describing scents, but it is very, very good. Um, but yeah, I always love receiving their candles. They're very nice, so that's pretty cool. The next item we have is this, which is done by Summer Strokes Art. Um, and this is a, pillowcase so let's go ahead and take that out um this is one item that i don't care for i don't like receiving pillowcases or like tapestries and stuff like that just because i don't really like it for example this this is like oh that's backwards but i do not need a pillow that you know has this on it you know I mean, I guess some people will like it, but I just am not one of those people that will. Um, it's not a bad design or anything, but I just, it's just it's not what I want in my house. So, yeah, but 
I mean, the material is nice and it's very soft, so that's good. But again, it's not something that I'm going to be using in my house. Okay, so we're down to just one more item and then the book. So we have a ring here, which is inspired by a broken blade by Melissa Blair, which is the book we received in August, I think, for their August box, because we didn't receive it in August, but it just looked a little cute ring. I do like it. It's a very cute ring, which is a dagger and a rose or flower on it, and it's beautiful. So I do like it. Um, it's very cute. So, yeah. But it's, you know... <laughs> And then we have a sneak peek for the October YA box. Um, so the next, um, in the October box, we're going to be receiving a bookish book tin, um, which I do like receiving. I like receiving them, especially from the bookish box, because the bookish box um, book tins are very pretty. So, like, a couple of months ago, we received this Throne of Glass one that's included in this photo, and I like that one. So I'm excited to... Um, get that one and yeah i'm trying to see if they say what book oh yeah there's only a showcase invisible life of Ada larue so i'm really excited for that and we have the art print on this side so yeah so now we can actually move on to the actual book here so let's go ahead and take it out and here's the book so the book oh that's the back cover the book is Monsters Born and made by Tanvi Burwall. Hopefully that's right, but this is beautiful. Such a beautiful, beautiful book. I really love what they did with this cover redesign. Um, though I do want to say the monsters are here is then covered this beautiful holographic glitter. And I wonder if it's supposed to be like that or not. I guess we'll find out. But... Ooh, I love what they did with the folding on the actual cover. Hopefully, it can tell on camera. But I am going to insert more close up videos of it, so hopefully, that will capture it. And then we have the spread edges, and these are beautiful. I really like what they did with it. Uh, there's a dragon on the spread edges, which is beautiful. Oh, I really like it. It looks so good. So, they did a great job on that. So, let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket and see how it looks naked oh my god this is beautiful y'all look at that and it's done in the same holographic letter that's so beautiful oh i love it this is such a great job with this book and then on the back we have this and it says this is the ocean and you're a hunter you swim with the monsters these people cannot scare you that's beautiful i really like what they did with it um and I think, yeah, so we have a reversible dust jacket. And, oh my god, again, this is just beautiful. Um, look at that. That's really, really pretty. So I really like that. Um, so I would say this part right here, like right next to the girl's hair, they have this random blog cover and the holographic and it I don't know why if that's supposed to be there or not it looks kind of weird so I wonder if that's a mistake or not um but it's still a really beautiful jacket and a beautiful hardback so beautiful and then we have the end pages um so they did not this is a sign tippin which they did not bound into the book, which is very disappointing. They just threw it in here. Um, but it's signed at least, but it's, they didn't bound into the book. So that's very disappointing. But these in pages are very beautiful. There's just character artwork. And then on the back, um, it's the same um, in pages. So there's that. At least that's beautiful. And, I am kind of disappointed in that they didn't bound this into the actual book. Um, but, I don't know. I guess I'll live with that. Um, there's a map inside here, which is nice. Um, I know sometimes they include, like, character artwork in here. Look how pretty that is. For the chapter one. Um, so, 
Yeah, for it seems like each chapter they have like little waves going throughout the page, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, that's everything that we received in the bookish box YA box for the month of September. Um, let me know your thoughts on the book and what they did to it. Let me know your thoughts on the actual items I received. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything to be honest. Um, there are like a, a few mistakes. I wonder if they're supposed to be like that or not. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of think about everything. Um, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.